top of the morning to you. Anyone who's a Seinfeld fan will get that reference. I'm just sitting here working. It's about a quarter to eight. Uh, Ray Ray and I have been up since six or 6.30. And I wanna go ahead and make sure I eat my oatmeal so that I have some time to digest before I head over to the gym in about an hour. But good morning so far, got up on time. Already got my ACV drink down, which I seriously do not enjoy drinking at all, but I don't know, the experiment continues anyway. It's really the cayenne pepper because I don't mind spice, but cayenne pepper for me is just heat for the sake of heat. There's not really a great flavor there. So I really don't care for having to drink things with cayenne pepper in them. But it's been a good morning. We uh, went for a walk, already gotten some work done, and uh, now I get to eat some food. I also have to run to the post office to drop off a Poshmark order, so Thank you to anyone and everyone who has purchased from my Poshmark closet and to everyone who supported that video, the Power Clashing Lookbook, since that was in collaboration with Poshmark. It really does help me when you guys check out my sponsored content so that the sponsors want to continue sponsoring me and they actually see that people are watching the content. Well, that is it. This is just gonna be another boring day of, you know, gym, food, work, but I am gonna do some of my fake meal prep. <laughs> Basically, I meal prep without the meal prep. I don't like eating the same exact thing for several meals in a row, so what I tend to do is I'll make the elements of meals. I'll chop vegetables, I'll grill a bunch of chicken breasts, and then I'll just have things ready to go that I can kind of puzzle piece together into meals that I can keep varied enough so that I don't get too sick of eating the exact same thing day in and day out. So I'll show you guys that a bit later, but for now I'm just gonna eat my oatmeal, and probably have some coffee to get my energy up for this plyometrics workout that I have to do today. A lack of understanding, a lack of no self. You guys only got to see a little bit of my workout because my card was full and cut off on me about a third of the way into it. But you guys did miss a good one. I am so surprised at how good that workout turned to be as well as how good I feel right now because this morning on my way to the gym, it was just that feeling of the caffeine is not going to save you. I had a decent night's sleep, I had breakfast, I had caffeine, and I just was dragging ass on my way to the gym. But yesterday was just a hit workout, so it was only like 20 minutes of work, and I was like, mm, I think I need to just suck it up and do it. And this is one of those days where I'm so glad I did, because I had a great workout. It was so good once I got going. The only downside was I hurt my foot a little bit. I'm pretty sure I did get footage of me doing one leg box jumps, which is a new move for me. I remember trying it maybe once before 
before literally trying only one rep to see if I could and I was too scared and I was I just couldn't get myself motivated because I do box jumps all the time but doing them on one foot takes a new level of just mental focus but it's scary I mean box jumps can be scary for some people regardless I'm used to doing 20 inches and higher on a regular box jump but one leg box jumps are next level so a good way to sort of ease yourself into it. I, I'm sure you guys can hear that construction. That's why I can't film Lady Business Volume 2 today. I'm hoping to do it tomorrow. But anyway, if you're holding onto rings, you're a lot less likely to face plant and eat shit. So I'm really glad that I wasn't stubborn and decided to do it assisted because I can be that way. I can try to force myself to just do the hardest version of everything sometimes just because I feel like my exercise is often punitive. But anyway, I'm really glad I did the progression because I was able to do them in a way that felt comfortable for me and then when I was starting to let my mind wander, I had that safety net of the rings because I did kind of hurt my foot. Uh, I missed a couple of them in set two or three and my foot just kind of landed on the edge of the box, which is kind of a sharp edge. And I work out in sneakers that basically simulate being barefoot. So they have a very thin uh, puncture resistant rubber sole. It's, it's as close to being barefoot as you can get while still actually wearing shoes. So imagine landing hard on a on a metal surface with your bare foot. That's what it feels like. So I am almost certain I bruised the bottom of my foot, which is like the worst place to get a bruise. If you've ever experienced it, you know what I mean. Because when you get a bruise anywhere, when you press on it, it fucking hurts. So having a bruise on the bottom of your foot is like pressing on a bruise with every step. So that's the only thing that kind of sucked, but I'm really glad that I have that progression and I'm hoping that by the end of cut, I will have the coordination, strength, and focus to be able to do one leg box jumps unassisted. Because for me, I honestly think I might have the strength and coordination now, but it does require a lot of focus. Cause even regular box jumps, I've fucked myself up. I have a really bad scar on my shin that I got April of last year, 2017. And that scar is not going anywhere because I ripped my shin open because my mind was wandering and I was on, I was pretty deep into my sets of, of box jumps at that point. And that is the last thing you wanna do. You really need to pay attention every single rep on box jumps. And I'm sure it's even more serious on one-legged box jumps. Ray Ray, why are you all up on me right now? Ray Ray's down here and she keeps like jumping on me and I don't know what she wants. What do you want? Huh? Ray Ray does not like being filmed, by the way. She tends to look away, like such as, or give me side eye, or just completely walk away. I think she's actually freaked out by the construction noises. I think that's why she's acting kind of weird right now. What's the matter, Ray Ray? They've been tormenting us for months now. Aren't you used to it? Anyway, great workout. I've had great workouts the past, I would say, three workouts in a row, so I'm feeling really happy. Really, really good day. Really, really good workout. It was the kind of workout where I'm actually excited for my next workout already, even though it's upper body, which is my least favorite. Plyometrics has become my second favorite workout. Leg day will always be number one because that is my problem area, so mentally I always feel good about working on my problem area. Nonetheless, I've really, really come to enjoy these plyometrics workouts and cut, so it's going good. I was going in my fridge and I was looking for all my chopped up peppers and onions ready to go and then I remembered, fuck, I ate them all. So as promised, here is how I do my lazy girl meal prep. And it's not really lazy because you still are cooking for yourself and making sure you're giving your body healthful, nourishing foods. But this is good for people who don't want to eat the same exact thing for every meal, but still want some of the benefits of meal prepping because I for one like variety in my diet. I do like to switch things up, even if it's just slightly, if I'm just switching in a protein or whatever. So this gives me versatility, but it also gives me convenience. So these are gonna get chopped up. I'm also gonna chop up these onions, which I had already, so I didn't need to buy more, but I will after this, because those are my last ones. And then um, I've got ground turkey, which I just make to order. I also have some chicken breasts that I took from my freezer stash of quality protein. So once I'm done chopping these vegetables, I'm going to season and probably just grill in my grill pan that chicken or maybe I'll slow cook it. I might do, I might crock pot. We'll see. Let's have a bit of fun till I downfall 
is that? All of that footage was actually in real time. It's that quick. Obviously I'm kidding, but the cool thing is I'm able to multitask while I do that. Like once all the veggies are chopped, here are all the onions, all of them peppers, and here are those big old chicken breasts, which you guys saw me pounding those with the mallet. The reason I do that is to help them cook more evenly because basically I throw them in my grill pan and I cook them four or five minutes per side and I just set a timer so I put the chicken breast on, go off and do some other stuff, come back when it's time to flip it, go off and do some other stuff so it's super easy to multitask. And now I've got all this lean protein that I can throw into stir fries, salads, eat just as it is and maybe make a vegetable side if I want to like. This stuff which is my current favorite discovery at Trader Joe's of the moment which is just Cruciferous Crunch Collection. You guys have seen me eat this already. It's kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. This is great to mix in with the peppers and onions for stir fries. It could be a great salad base. And that is my way to meal prep without really having to meal prep. I can appreciate the convenience of having those little containers of like exactly this many ounces of chicken breast and exactly this much vegetables, but I actually also find it slightly depressing. I like to cook things that I'm maybe more in the mood for. I like to change up the spice profiles that I add. Oh, that reminds me. All I seasoned the chicken breast with was this Trader Joe's onion salt. My go-to steak, grill, chop, and broil seasoning. I actually had to open a new jar of this because the one I had on the go ran out. And I added some turmeric because supposedly this is really good for your marbles. I remember reading a study once that said that the incidence of Alzheimer's in India is very, very low compared to other parts of the world. And they had a correlation between that and the use of turmeric in so much of their food. And ever since then, I put turmeric in my dishes way more than I used to when I remember, which is kind of ironic. And that is it, once I pound the chicken, season it, grill it, sometimes I'll throw it in the slow cooker, but I just wanted it to be cooked and ready to eat because I'm hungry right now. So I'm going to go ahead and probably whip up a quick stir fry, I think with some of this chicken, some of this, some of my mise en place that I just chopped and some potato for carbs. Yes, that is what we will do. It is balls hot outside today. Poor Ray Ray. She's schwitzing. This is the time of year when I have to start putting ice cubes in her water dish so she has water that's nice and cold. And then she gets all of her water in her beard. But in other news, today has been great. Nothing special today, really just a regular degler day. As I said before it was today, I told you guys yesterday, it was just gonna be working out, work, blah, blah, blah. But you guys, I think, I think I might be in the zone. Whenever I have done one of my fitness and health challenges where I've actually had a lot of success in the end, and just in general in life, like this is pre-YouTube, this is just in my life with my weight loss and health and fitness journey as just a human person. Whenever I've managed to level up, there's a shift in attitude, thinking, behavior, where it all just comes together and I actually am most happy when I'm doing the things that are most beneficial for my body, when I'm making the healthiest choices for my food, when I'm actually enjoying my my workouts and my training. I don't know why Ray Ray is this hardcore about not being on camera, by the way. She thinks she's slick. They're only here to see you, they don't care about me. But there's always this shift where it all suddenly falls into place and I'm just in the zone. I don't... Is you okay? Is you good? Because I want to know. And I think... I think I'm in the zone. You guys saw what I had for lunch. I had that stir fry with some, you know, potato and the grilled chicken that I had prepped earlier and everything. And I enjoyed that meal so much, not just because I fucking nailed it, but because I was actually thinking about how good the food was going to make me feel and make me stronger and make me feel better tomorrow, even better than I feel today. I mean, tomorrow is upper body day, my least favorite, and I'm even looking forward to that. Thinking about getting the proper amount of sleep and taking care of myself starts to be the thing that makes me the happiest. Whereas having a cheat 
you know, obviously I'm going to want that at some point, but I don't want it more than I want to feel as good as I feel right now. I'm at the point where I have like the Pavlovian response in the negative way when I think about eating something that's very high sugar or something that will make me get a stomach ache or whatever. That's the first thing I think of when I think of having, you know, a dessert or something. I don't think of, oh, that's going to taste good. I think of, oh, that's not going to make me feel so good and I want to, I want to feel good. I am officially in week four of cut even though I am less than three full weeks into doing this program which is kind of crazy. I don't remember the exact date I started but I have not been doing the program for 21 days and I just did the first workout of week four this morning. And I can't just say oh this program has changed my life because this is where I like to be mentally and in my training at all times, but it's easy to get back into those negative behaviors, so constant vigilance is required, at least for someone who's but flesh and bone like myself. This is what I'm dealing with, by the way. <laughs> Are you all right? You're wagging your tail, so you must be pretty happy. I'm gonna sit closer to you, is that okay? Anyway, I'm just feeling really, really happy and really excited for tomorrow. A great workout paired with just a super productive day, paired with really nourishing food. I'm just, I'm feeling really good. I'm just high on life right now. And tomorrow I'm going to be able to film a real YouTube video rather than just not vlogging. So I'm going to film Lady Business Volume 2 and maybe one or two other videos because a lot of people, well not a lot, but Enough people have asked me about uh, my microblading on my eyebrows. It's the only reason that I look like I have eyebrows right now. Because I don't. I got face tattoos. So I think I may finally do a video on my microblading experience. I've had it done for well over a year. I just got my touch-up done in May. I do have to go to a surprise party tomorrow. It's actually, if any of you guys uh, are familiar with my work on the channel Tasted, R.A.P., you'll probably remember Bruce, whose real name is Cruz. His name is Mike Cruz. And because someone in the comments under one of our videos misheard Cruz as Bruce, he was then named Bruce for the rest of his life as far as I'm concerned. So Bruce's birthday is this weekend and there's a surprise party for him. So I do have to go to that and I think it is tomorrow. So it might be a little tight with filming YouTube videos. We, we will see because it's a daytime party. Another pool party in fact at Mystery Guitar Man's house. He's friends with Mystery Guitar Man and Mystery Guitar Man's wife. So they're hosting a surprise party. Anyway. That's my Saturday, and then the construction starts back again Monday and Tuesday, so ugh. I probably will bring you guys to the gym with me tomorrow. But beyond that, I don't really have much else to add for tonight. So here is how tomorrow's workout went for me, which is just a weird thing to say, but through the magic of editing, this will all be cohesive.
now Saturday. You saw most but not all of my workout. Yet again, I wasn't able to film the whole thing. This time it wasn't my fault though. I actually got kicked out of the gym because there was a CrossFit class starting and the area I was using needed to be used for the class. And then because I got kicked out, I ended up having to finish the workout at home. Luckily by then I was already onto the hit movements, which were all body weight only. I had done maybe one or two of the movements I needed to do before I got Das Boot from the gym. And I had I think four or so movements that I still had to do and only one of them required um, a resistance band, one of the little ones that you kind of loop around your legs usually. So I just uh, took my ass home and did them here. Walking into the gym this morning, I felt great. I had my little bit of cold brew before I left and I decided to try to get my ass over there because I kind of knew that the open gym hours weren't necessarily as long as I would need to do everything I needed. So I, de I decided to skip eating and went in fasted and I still ran out of time. Anyway, I'm okay. I feel, I still feel pretty good. I'm still feeling high on life. I'm just, I always get a little grumpy when I don't have a good workout and I'm extra grumpy because I got the boot from the gym and that just really grinds my gears because I just pay too much damn money to not be able to finish my workout because they want to do some class you know what I mean like they should have some sort of space that people can still do their own thing in my opinion came home ate my overnight oats still doing the banana peanut butter but I did pick up some almond butter because I think I already mentioned to you guys in my last not vlog I am trying to get off of peanut butter um, it's not an organic almond butter that I picked up or anything, it's just from Trader Joe's, so that's one way to help mitigate the crazy price of almond butter. Almond butter is so expensive mainly because of how much water it takes to grow the crops, and out here in California we constantly have droughts, so I get it, it's just... It's such a damned if you do, damned if you don't type of thing. And then I just had lunch, I finally tried to uh, make quinoa for the first time. I I think I have to work on it a little bit, but it turned out okay. The texture isn't quite right, and I made that salad that I told you guys about in my previous not vlog as well, with the pepper turkey and the avocado and the black beans and the peppers and tomatoes. Didn't really taste much like the one that I get from that restaurant, but I enjoyed it just as much, which is great because that was really, really tasty, and I'm looking forward to making it again, and it won't cost me the outrageous price it costs to get from that restaurant. But that's it. I'm going to uh, sign off here. I got plans for today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, so I will not be vlogging anymore today. So if this is the end of this vlog, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end because I know these things ain't short. And I appreciate all of the love and support that I'm receiving from you guys on these not vlogs because the comments have been really, really warm and it's been nice to share a little bit more of myself with you all because I made it known that I am a very private person, but I appreciate you guys sticking around and letting me do this in my own way. It is another day that is balls hot, so Ray Ray is probably just going to be passed out most of the day. Poor thing, she's got a fur coat on, so it's extra miserable for her. In any event, thanks again for hanging out with us for these past couple of days, and we will see you guys in the next Knot Vlog for another day with T and Ray. Bye bye. That's a, that's a nappy-headed hose there, I'm gonna take that down. <laughs>